Hello everyone and welcome back to Speed Force Media. My name is Eleanor and today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. As you know, if you've been part of our channel for a while, we do reviews every once in a while of TV shows, movies, and all sorts of media, but we've never done a book review. So for the past four or five months now, I have been reading a book called A Night to Remember by Walter Lord. And if anyone is a fan of ships or of Titanic itself, then you know that there's a movie called A Night to Remember. Well, the movie a Night to Remember, released in 1958, is based upon this book by Walter Lord that was released in 1955. In this book, he was able to interview many survivors of the Titanic and actually get their story directly from them, and it is considered by a lot of researchers to be the Titanic Bible, since it just has so much information that is true to what the witnesses saw. However, there is only one part of this book that I would say is inaccurate, and it is represented in the movie as well, which is that the ship does not snap in half in the book or in the movie, but I digress. At that point, they didn't really know what was going on. It was a really dark night, people were really scared. That was just a detail that was left out. The synopsis of this book is, first published in 1955, A Night to Remember remains the definitive classic tale of the sinking of the Titanic. Walter Lord interviewed more than 60 survivors before committing their, serious, their searingly vivid recollections to his minute-by-minute -minute account of the Titanic's fatal collision and the experience of both passengers and crew under pressure of the unthinkable. The swift plummet into icy waters of the ship promised never to sink. With an introduction by Nathaniel Philbrick, best-selling author of In the Heart of the Sea and Sea of Glory, this 50th anniversary edition of Walter Lord's classic brings the drama of that night back to life. As Philbrick concludes in his introduction, quote, From first to last, a night to remember is about the people who briefly inhabited the Titanic, and never again will an author have the opportunity to speak to so many of them. In this most essential way, Lord's book can be never outdone, making A Night to Remember the Ultimate Survivor's Tale. And man, that it is. It is definitely a hard read at times if you're disturbed by other people's suffering. It is sad. There's a lot of personal accounts of people being really scared or people not thinking it was really sinking and then realizing at the last second that yes, it was and that they probably didn't have a chance to get off the ship. But it also has a lot of really humbling and harrowing tales from people that make you think about the sinking in a completely different way. It gives you information that you didn't previously have from the people who were actually there and in that way it makes a titanic sinking just a little bit more interesting you get accounts from charles lightoller a very famous second officer of the titanic and he was a very brave man he even rescued people from dunkirk the man was really cool and being able to hear his story pretty much from his mouth, not exactly, in a third-person way, but hearing his rendition of how the Titanic sank and how the evacuations went and how it was just an entire shit show, as we all know it was, it just makes it a little bit more real from when you hear it from people who are actually there. Now, Walter Lord actually was consulted by James Cameron when he was making his film Titanic in 1997. This is amazing because this man was born in 1917, so he was around for quite a while. He passed away in 2002. Rest in peace to him. He was a great writer and author. He's best known for Night to Remember, but he did write other sh ship books. He was interested in ship sinkings and all sorts of stuff. He did write multiple books on the Titanic as well, so if you're interested in other books about the Titanic, you can check out all of Walter Lord's stuff. He does a lot of books on ships. Overall, I would say A Night to Remember, despite how old the book is, it isn't a dry or boring read as sometimes older books can be. And even though it is non-fiction, it reads very much like a story because it is minute by minute. You go from disembarking in Southampton all the way through the sinking based upon other people's perspectives. And you can kind of see how each evening went and all that kind of stuff. If you're interested in Titanic, I definitely recommend it because it is a good read. It's an easy read. It's not confusing. It doesn't use confusing language. And like I said, it's not dry and boring as a lot of the time nonfiction, especially older nonfiction can be. It does read in more of a story format. And since A Night to Remember the movie was based upon this book, A Night to Remember is kind of considered the more accurate of the Titanic films that are around. And I would still say I really enjoy that movie, even though it is a black and white film. I do think it stands the test of time, and it is pretty damn accurate, and it does show the actual people that were there instead of focusing on, like, 
where Titanic did with Rose and Jack, how you had two fictional characters, you actually get to, in A Night to Remember, focus on the real people. And that's why I also appreciate the book. Have any of you guys read A Night to Remember? Do any of you guys want to read A Night to Remember? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for choosing to hang out with me today, and have a great day.